to talk to you today about surfer's ear. Surfer's ear refers to a bony overgrowth in the ear canal. So we call that exostosis of the external auditory canal or ear canal. And that's the medical term for surfer's ear. Surfer's ear involves bone overgrowth in the ear canal that causes a closure or occlusion of the ear canal and it can cause infections when water gets trapped behind the bone and that infection can be quite painful. Um, any of you who might have experienced that know that pain and discomfort and it's also associated with blocked hearing or hearing loss. If the bone overgrowth is extensive, it can cause hearing loss just in and of itself without the presence of an infection. So the bone overgrows because of exposure to cold. It can be cold water or cold air. In surfers in particular, avid surfers who are out in the water a lot, um, they're under the water so their ears get wet and then they sit on the top surface of the water on their surfboard and the wind um, will cause a evaporative cooling effect or wind chill that makes the ear even colder. So they tend to grow more often in people who surf frequently. But we also see this happening in scuba divers, in sailors, people who are in frequent wind or water swimmers, ocean swimmers usually. Um, but the problems, as I mentioned, infection and occlusion and hearing loss. So the way that we treat surfer's ear is surgically. There currently are no medications or other procedures that we can do to eliminate the bone overgrowth. We just have to remove it. So the way that the surgery is done is either through the ear canal or making an incision behind the ear and laying the ear forward. That's the traditional way, but there's a movement towards doing the surgery through the ear canal. And that's what I've been doing for about the past 12 years in my practice, um, removing it almost exclusively through the ear canal. And I do that in about 95% of cases. About 5% of the time when the growth is very extensive and I can't see the normal landmarks, then I might need to go behind the ear. Um, the surgery involves removing that bone with either osteotomes, which are essentially specialized chisels um, that are designed especially for this surgery to remove the bony overgrowths. And we also use a drill, which is similar to a dentist drill that uh, essentially polishes off the bone um, sequentially and then smooths out the ear canal so you have a new and wider open ear canal. So we use both the chisel and the drill method um, and the surgery involves packing of the ear canal afterwards to protect the skin and allow healing of the new ear canal. Um, the surgery is outpatient surgery. It takes about one and a half hours for the surgery and it's done under general anesthesia. So you're totally asleep, um, you don't feel anything during the surgery, and we monitor the facial nerve typically during surgery because it is at a very, very slight risk. Also at risk is the eardrum, and if there's any injury to the eardrum during surgery, which is rare, we will repair it at the same time, at the same surgery, using a graft of your own tissue and other risks include some pain, but usually mild, usually just one to two days of requiring maybe some pain medication, um, and then jaw joint um, irritation, inflammation, swelling, maybe making it difficult to chew for a few days. Um, and the, you go home the same day, uh, typically the packing stays in for about three to four weeks and then um, it will dissolve and it typically takes about six weeks to maybe two months for it to dissolve on its own but I usually remove the packing at about three to four weeks and that would be the earliest time that I would clear someone to go back surfing um, but typically it takes about six to eight weeks to completely heal and to go back to surfing. Thank you.